Okay, it's the Heat Signature Daily for the 29th of September. We're playing as Journey Delphinus, which is a cool name. Uh, it's another stealing one, and we are... Oh, it's another stealing one where we minimize harm. Got the same combinations yesterday. Uh, but our traits are very different. We have Glitch Sickness, which means teleporting is going to knock us out. <laughs> yesterday would not have gone well with that trait. Uh, supplier, which probably is not going to be relevant. Uh, and our kit is a armor piercing short blade, also the same as yesterday. Uh, but we also have a crash trap, which is going to be super useful, and a swapper, <laughs> which is going to be a bit of a last resort. And we're flying a cold fire. Uh, wait, who's explosive? <laughs> I think it's the preview guard. Um, uh, not so much of a problem with spoilers, because the mission details panel tells you what you're going to encounter before you do. But uh, just in terms of like strategies, I think if you've seen someone else do it, it's tempting just to kind of do what they did if it worked out. Obviously, <laughs> if it doesn't work out, then you're none the wiser. Okay, so reinforcements on this mission, um, and jammer gates, which probably won't cause us too much trouble, and explosive guards, that's the main thing. So I need to... They've only got wrenches, so I can run away from them, actually. Um, and it would be kind of good to have a non-lethal weapon, but actually we might just be able to get through this normally. Just trying to steal something. It's a relatively small ship. I'll just check what's in the shop. So there is a slipstream. Hmm. This is curious. The shop... So a bunch of things about this daily are different, but the shop is exactly the same. That is the exact same list of things. I know because I remember deliberating about the, the relative prices of these things, and... Yep, it's 100% the same. That's curious. <laughs> that seems like a bug. I think we might need to look into that. Um, but that also means there's no non-lethal weapon. If there was a rechargeable slipstream, I would take it, I think. The self-charging one is too expensive, but it would really, really help. So I'm just going to try and wing this with the normal equipment. Okay, it's glitches ships. So... Uh, it is at the far end. That's where the captain is. I don't have... Hmm. I don't have a way to crash the teleporter itself, because crash traps only work on people. Um, but I could just put the crash trap on the teleporter, <laughs> and then as the uh, any contractors that came in would just be immediately crashed, and that pretty much makes them irrelevant. So I might just do that even if it doesn't seem like I need to. Um, I Yesterday I had a key cloner, today I don't, and that leaves me pretty much um, useless for getting through any of these doors uh, without hurting anybody. So, oh, if I get someone on their own I can swap with them, and I will pass out, but it will be fine. They might see me a little bit. Oh shit, they got glitch dash. Okay. <laughs> We're uh, in need of a change of plan. Uh, I can... The only person I can swap with is him. I could kill him, but that's going to dock me some points. Um, I could... Uh, pretty sure I could crash him. If I, If I was where he is, would they see me? Why is he the one who saw me? I would have thought he was on that side. Anyway, I think... If he saw me from this side, then this guy is also in sight range. Up there. Uh, I could just keep running, and this door might shut before he fires. I think we're going to do that. It did. That's good. And now, <laughs> if I swapped with him now, I think that would probably confuse him enough. But, um... Uh, honestly, I don't have a great... Plan here. I think I may just have to kill him. And even that's going to be tricky ish because uh, he is very close to being ready to fire. So if I go this way and then like that, is he going to step in the crash trap? Doesn't matter too much, actually. 
Okay, not a good start. Not a good start. Uh, that guy's not going to come in here, I don't think. And actually, this guy's on his own now. So I can... Oh, shit. He would be the keycard guy, wouldn't he? <laughs> That's the one guy I don't want to swap with. Because if I do that, then I can't get this keycard. Uh, might be worth doing it anyway. Because I think he'll come back after I, after I swap with him. I think he'll, he'll figure out eventually that he needs to... Return to his post. Okay. I'm going to do it. Am I? Am I, though? Can't really go the other way because I have to get past these guards. Hmm. Um, I can't... No, I shouldn't sort with him here. Well, for one thing, I'm standing in a jammer gate, so that wouldn't work. Uh, but it's important that when I swap with him, this door is not open. Uh, actually, this guy's got a gun. And uh, we will be able to hear it through the wall. What I kind of want to do is just like brush past him and just take the keycard. Okay, I've got a... Do it or not. Oh, I know. If I'm willing to kill him, and I think I am, then I can swap with him. I'm technically standing in this jammer gate. I think I'll, I'll back out of that just in case. Oh yeah, and I need it not to be in the doorway. So I do that. I pass out, but only for a second. Then I'm up again. And I think the plan was to um, get him to open that door and then shoot him when he comes through it. But I, like, if I'm close enough for him to open it, I'm standing in the jammer gate and my teleporter won't work. Uh, and if I'm too far away, then the door doesn't open. But I think he will come this way. So do I want to wait for him or do I want to... I can't really get through this door without him, can I? Because I can't get through even the first of these two gates because I don't have the level 1 card, so I need his level 2 card. And actually, when he does come by, it's quite feasible that I could sort of slip behind him unnoticed. Oh shit, someone else is coming. <laughs> uh, it's got complicated. Well, he's crashed at least. Aha! He is coming back. But the other guard complicates this. Might still work. If the other guard stays there for a while, no, I think the other guard's going to be on his way back by the time this guy passes me. I'm still going to just stand here. Oh, it might work out. He's crashed. No, it's not going to work out. Uh, <laughs> do I go for it or do I just let them pass? I really should have bought some kit. This was... Oh my god. Uh, I'm not going to have a choice. It's going to be a fight. Ooh. I don't know what that is. Uh, and then the uh, thing is, if I throw it, it's going to be lethal. But I don't have anything non-lethal, I don't think. He's got a wrench. That'll be useful once he goes down. But <laughs> um, I'll take that. Okay, don't need to bother that guy. Oh, I just picked up my crash trap. What an idiot. Alright, I'm going back. Oh, but the defenders are riding. Uh, I might do this anyway. I'm going to get telefragged. <laughs> That's actually not a thing, but... <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, um, right. What? I can't get tooltips on him for some reason. Um, hmm. Still got the swapper. Could swap with like a body. Uh, or. I kind of wonder if there's a way to. Um, why don't I just shoot him? 
<laughs> that would work. <laughs> it's like in Portal when you forget you can make portals. Um, that will do it. Okay, this is going really, really badly. This is going to be a bad score and a bad day. Uh, but I am at least at my objective. Get some strange hitches every time I, I don't know, do inventory things, it seems like. I might just go back out the way I came. I don't think I really want to tangle with those guys. I'm going to end up killing them. Uh, let's see if we can avoid him. He's going my way. Let's go this way. Okay, just need... Oh boy, it's going to be tight. No, it's fine. Oop, that's not fine. So I don't have to pick up my crash trap because it will teleport to me when I leave. Okay, so it depends a bit on what the next mission parameters are, but I think I'm probably going to be buying some stuff. Because uh, that was rough. <laughs> I got docked, got docked 50 points. Um, geez. Oh yeah, I killed 5 people. Uh, so that's 10 each. John has fixed the, uh, the thing where it was counting kills, same as harm. Um, it was actually weird, like, side note. Um, so yesterday, the description said... 5 points for everyone you harm, and 10 points for everyone you kill. Uh, that is actually, and in practice it was only docking us 5 points for kills or harm. Um, the funny thing about that is, I think the bug is this mission listings. I think it's not supposed to have both these, it's supposed to have one or the other. And the actual design was that just that you are supposed to get docked 5 points for everyone harmed, whether you kill them or not. But actually this accidentally created a more interesting situation. I think it's better if there is an extra penalty for killing on a day when you're not supposed to harm people. Um, so uh, John actually just changed the code so it matches what the description says <laughs> so it, it matters more about uh, killing people even if you're supposed to not harm people at all so theft we got random bosses that's nasty some of them might have armor or shields um, mind you I'm not supposed to be taking them out anyway so uh, just getting past them would be good I think I might just buy the slipstream because this is 19 guards, it's a large ship, uh, it's unlikely I'm going to get through it without anything, any special equipment. Uh, so, oh, let's get the crash trap back. Um, or the stealth shield. Stealth shield's nice and cheap. So, stealth shield for 30 or slipstream for 80. Will the slipstream save me 55 more kills? It actually could. Hey, I didn't pick up the guy's wrench. Damn it, that was stupid. Um, kind of tempted to try the cell shield. Of course, I may end up buying a slipstream for the last mission anyway. Alright, so... Oh, they got... Damn it. They don't all have those, do they? No. First guard has uh, a heat sensor, which makes my stealth shield kind of uh, useless. Although, I've got a crash trap, so... I'll see he's not the guy with the heat sensor, but I can sort of, bit by bit, crash them all. No time pressure. The alarm response is a capture one, so I do need to watch out for that. Okay, he's gone to a terminal. I'll just slip by him. And then what I want to do is, like, um, may even, yeah, I'll let him see me a little bit, because I don't really care. Uh, okay. Ooh, let him see me a bit more than I planned. <laughs> Left myself in a slightly bad situation. It's fine. No, it's not. Well, I do have a stealth shield. This is what this was for. Uh, do I use that just to get out of the situation? I think so. Oh shit, jammer gates! <laughs> oh god. Uh, okay, I could kill him. Or I could use the stealth shield. Uh, I've got so much more of the ship to get through, I think I'm going to need the stealth shield. I think I have to kill him. God damn it, this has gone so bad so fast. Okay, I think I've already bounced the blade, right? 
Yep. Hide the body before this guy comes around the corner. I want the other guy to patrol so he gets crashed. There are few enough guards now that I think I feel like I could um slip by them without the stealth shield. So I just use one charge. So if I can get through this without using another, that would be good. Go on, key guard, patrol. Oh shit. <laughs> you went to the wrong place. I don't think it's worth me trying to move that crash trap, because he may come this way anyway. There we go. Alright, so I may get the chance here to slip by him. If he goes if he goes north, I will just chase him and grab the card for him. If he uses the terminal, I can do the same. Steel key card. The range on that is pretty good. Um okay. Maybe this isn't a total disaster yet. I'm going to go the top route. That'll let me take out the captain if I need to. I don't think I will need to. Oh, he's alone too. Ah, but his friends are there and there. That's not so good. Oh, what I kind of want to do... I want to get to him, and I can afford to pass out. But if I swap with him, obviously he won't be there anymore. <laughs> um, I could... The problem is, even, if, even once I've got the keycard, how do I get past these guys? It's going to have to be a stealth shield job, isn't it? So I think I'm going to go the long way around and hang around here till I see a chance. And I hope it could be tricky in terms of... Um... Yeah, <laughs> that is somewhat tricky to, to face them all with the stealth shield. I think they're always going to... Nope, I'm wrong. I was going to say, I think they're always going to go north for their patrols, but no, there's a terminal over here too. Uh, okay, that's actually kind of good though, because I believe... How can I... The stealth shield, I can have it facing this way, and then I could sort of strafe up a little bit and get behind this guy. I think that's conceivably possible. They might spot me a little bit, but... Okay. So I'm going to be aiming like there. Still pretty good. Might as well. Oh boy. Oh, jammer gates. <laughs> jammer gates. I will never learn. Uh, that is a terminal, I think. So, I don't want to kill that guy. I would much rather... Oh, you know what? I should just swap with him. Because uh, I don't need his keycard, and that will probably flummox this guy. Although, there is a guy coming around... No, I'm just going to do it. I think that'll work. And then I am going to deactivate that. <laughs> I am going to unlock those. And then what I do next is going to depend a lot on what the guards do. If he comes my way, I'm going to have to kill him, I think. He didn't. Beauty. Ooh. I get some weird stuttering today. I think there's... I hope there's something wrong with my PC, because that's <laughs> more... It might just be I'm recording and maybe it's um, the hard drive is kind of filling up or something. Um, but I hope that's not the game. Uh, I just wait for this guy to go, don't I? Yeah. And I've got it. Alright, so I killed one guy. And that was it, really. I'll be able to get out of here, no problem, right? Uh, nothing else I want to take. I might as well pick up the crash trap now. Alright. Ooh, this doesn't feel good. Hmm. Definitely something weird going on with my PC. Let's see how we did. So, only a 10 penalty. That's really good. Um... But I spent some money, obviously. So, uh, so I would have 240 by now? No, wait. I got 50 from the first mission. So, yeah. I should probably put debt on this screen. But, yeah, 160 total so far. Not great. Now, heavy reinforcements. Gotta watch out for that. Lifelink. Oh, God, and they're all armoured. Actually, I mean, no, armour's irrelevant because I already have an armour piercing blade and I don't want to kill them anyway. So I can avoid it. So... Um, it's big. There's a lot of them. 
I and they got heat sensors, which means I think I need the slipstream. It's still not a bad thing that I didn't buy it last time. In fact, I think it was the right call not to buy it last time because I only suffered a ten penalty. So even if the slipstream would have saved me from that, it the price reduction, I'm pretty sure. It's gone down by like 40. It would have cost me 80 last time, and it's going to cost me 40 this time. So it was worth it not to buy it then. But I will buy it now, because this is a tough mission, and I don't want to hurt any of the guards. There's no point buying an acid trap, no. Yep. That's about it. Let me just check out if thing went my stash. If I had a non-lethal weapon, I guess it might be worth buying an acid trap to like melt people's armor and then knock them out to save on the penalty. But, um, I don't. I uh, hear is a locked airlock. Let's see if that's any better. Can I, do I have any other way of getting through it? Just the swapper, I guess. So if someone patrols alone, I could swap with them. So lifelink means um, when one of them goes down, the others are alerted. Um, and need will sound the alarm. If you crash them, they get removed from the lifelink network. If you hack them, the whole network goes down for that all the guards connected to him basically um, I would love to get in here because there's a terminal I can use so that's a nice stealthy option uh, it's just a question of whether that guard is going to come anywhere near me he's probably going to go and go to that terminal and come back so it may not be worth trying to make it through only takes me one segment if I came in from the normal airlock uh, I not an easy way of getting that key particularly with those uh, heat sensors. Once, If I was coming from that direction, I would be able to slip by and get to that terminal, I'm pretty sure. So I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to the other airlock rather than trying to wait for an opportunity to slip in this to this one. So still on the lookout for any chances to um, swap with folks. Oh yeah, I've got three charges for the slipstream. I could just run past everyone. Where are we trying to get to? There. Slipstream doesn't help me get in from this side, so it's not super worth it for that. You know, if I see this guy go past this terminal, if he ends up going down here, which is not impossible, then I might just fly around and change my plan. Right now, I think I'm just going to move out into here, place the crash trap, and get it back out again. Ooh. I thought they'd see me actually. Are they going to come my way? No, they're going there. That's interesting. Where did this guy end up going? Oh, he is going a different way. Okay, abort. I'm going back to my ship and flying around to this airlock because I think I'm going to have the chance to swap with him. I am. Look at this timing. <laughs> I can do it now. <laughs> All right. Uh... He's obviously in a bad place for me. Oh, fuck. And two more coming. Okay. There's a downside to this. But I did get in, and I skipped a whole segment, so that's real good. Uh, I think I'll... If I can bait him now, that'd be great. Uh, look at me. Look at me. Quickly. <laughs> you got to look at me sooner than this. Okay, now he's looking at me. Fuck. Uh, and the place I want to duck into is where the enemies are coming from. That was exactly the wrong time for that to happen. Okay, I'm actually going to use a stealth shield here because most of the time that's not going to be helpful to me because of these heat sensors, but on this occasion it is. Okay, this is, this is manageable now. Yep, they're going to go that way. Uh, are they going to stop there? I hope, I'm hoping they're going to go into the fuel room. I think they will. They didn't. They went to there. That's less good. Um, but I am pretty sure that on their way back they're not going to come in here. I don't think they ever check out two rooms on one patrol. Oh, they're going into the loot room. I could slip by them, actually. Yeah, I don't think I need the loot, really. Yeah, I'm going to slip by them. This one <laughs> is a bit of a pickle. This might be a slipstream situation. Unless... Do you know what? I can... I'm pretty sure I can dispose of these people. Um, I may end up not getting the key card. Uh, that would be bad, wouldn't it? I do kind of need the keycard. Um, oh, this shotgun is loud. 
So uh, I can actually bait people to the sector. And they've got slipstream, so then I can get past them as well. Might be doable. So what I'm thinking is I come down here and shoot the fuel barrel, and then they'll all rush to the sound of the gunshot, and uh, then get sucked into space. Um, the alternative is I just slipstream and I run... We don't have jammer fields on this one, no. So uh, I don't have to worry about my slipstream turning off. If I ran straight past them, I'd get down here. This segment is not great. Not a lot of breathing room there. Uh, if I went right, this segment uh, right now is good because there's only two of them there. Um, there is this sentry gun. And. Hmm. Another thing I could do is just, like, oh no, wait, 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 hang on. There's a problem with the, the explosion plan, which is uh, the alarm response is heavy reinforcements. Heavy reinforcements are fucking serious. <laughs> they come fast, and they get bad fast. Um, so there would be trackers and predators, and uh, it would be a bad scene. So I don't want to stealth the alarm, so I have to do this stealthily. So, um, or I slipstream and I go this way, and by doing that, I could put a crash trap on the telepad. I don't know if crash trap charges... Oh! Hmm. No, I was wondering if I could blow up... If I blow up that fuel room, it doesn't actually disconnect the telepad from the rest of the ship, because you can still get around there. Uh, but still might be a good thing. But... It might just be better to slipstream, grab this guy's key, and just go straight for the objective, because I can get out pretty fast once I do... I think I'm going to do that. Uh, so, I wonder if it's worth stealth shielding. Not really, is it? We may There may be occasions when it's worth stealth shielding. Alright, I'll take your key card, please. I'm going through here. I'm glad this... Oh, God! <laughs> I missed the use handle for the sentry gun. And you're definitely going to fire at me. I'm not even going to slipstream again yet. Oh, God. Uh, I am going to slipstream again, because <laughs> that's a shotgun, and I need to outrun it. So it's possible that that door would have shut in time anyway, but it's not a bad thing to be safe. Open cargo crate, take the device, and then I think I just run straight past them again. You know what? Actually, I'm going to stealth shield just for a second. Just to give myself a moment more before they shoot. Uh, and in fact, go backwards as well. And... You know what? I've got lots of ways of getting out of this, but uh, I'm going to do the funnest way, which is slipstream and... just run straight through the window. Because <laughs> slipstream, you're moving so fast relative to the world that you have enough momentum just to break through the glass. So that wasn't bad. I spent a lot on kit, but it wasn't... I mean, I actually did the missions. That was... Um, what I was worried about was would I even complete it, and uh, I did. Without setting off the alarm as well, which would have been bad. I mean, they probably did set off the alarm after I left. <laughs> 369. So, yeah, my penalty, zero penalty on that one, didn't harm anyone. Um, a bloodless pacifist. And, but I spent a lot on gadgets, just overall. So, yeah, 71. Seems quite decent. Let's see how I did compared to everyone else. Not as well as yesterday. Um, ah, so Alan got uh, only slightly less than me. And then, gosh, someone got... Wow, okay. Huh. So I was saying yesterday, 500 is sort of, um, in theory, the perfect score. Uh, in that that's the total for all of the mission uh, pay, all the mission scores. If you have no penalty for your style, and you don't spend any money, which is true of this person. But usually, you don't see the 500 score, because if you do it in under half an hour, you get a time bonus as well. Look at these times! These are enormous! <laughs> 44 minutes, because bear in mind, this is not 
44 minutes of uh, real time, it's game time. And usually, you know, if you've seen me play, <laughs> there's a lot of pausing and a lot of thinking. So it was probably more than 44 minutes of, of real time. Uh, so what was mine? 6. <laughs> 53. <laughs> I'm starting to notice my, my style is um, low playtime. Actually, let's look at nearby scores and see people who did similarly to me. Okay, so one person's got 8 minutes. Everyone else is double digits. <laughs> 87 minutes! Holy shit. Wow. Some people really did that one carefully. I wonder if that's just kind of waiting for patrols to kind of go the right way. Like, in fast-forward time. So maybe it is less real-time. But still, that's pretty interesting. 